so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a smart electronic voting machine project by using arduino so before start this project i would like to tell you so last week i have already designed and developed the same project by using raspberry pi the thumbnail of that project you can see on the screen so in that video i use raspberry pi to develop the same project so if you want uh, if you want same project on raspberry pi please watch this video this video link given in the description okay before start the next part i would like to tell you the flow of this project so that you will get idea about what exactly this project how exactly this project works this project used for the voting machine purpose so basically if any voter comes in front of booth voting booth then first his face will be captured by the camera then our python code will recognize whether his face already stored into database or not if the face already stored into database then it will give the signal to the arduino software please take his vote then voter will press any one of the switch and he will give his vote so let's example if we press the bjp switch then bjp vote will be increased by one and after his vote will be taken then our buzzer will be turned on okay this is the one process now the second part of this project is that if the same person same voter which already given the vote again come to give the vote that is invalid vote or duplicate vote then our system also identify it is duplicate person or it is duplicate vote because his face already recognized so that the our system will detect he is giving the duplicate vote and then at that time also our buzzer will turn on so it will avoid the false voting also now the third part is if the person face is not stored into database then our system also detect if the person face is not stored into database then also it will give the signal that it is invalid person and in that case also our buzzer will be turned on so this is the complete uh, idea behind this project complete flow of this project i hope you understand the complete flow of this project now first we will see now what we will see in this video i will tell you so you will learn how to design and develop all this project into protest software we will see importance of each and every connection then after that we will also see the importance of each and every line from the code then I will give, give you the ready-made simulation then you can run this ready-made simulation at your uh, laptop you no need to laptop or PC you no need to pay any single rupees for this simulation all are completely free okay only point is you have to watch the complete video okay let's start with the practical demonstration first so that you will get idea about how exactly this project will work okay now we will see the uh, practical demonstration now you can see our uh, system is asking for scan your face and voter is not present you can see voter is not present here so we are waiting for the voter now voter should come and scan his face now you see voter come and see now his face will be scanned now you can see on the screen give vote that is the message now voter press the button Okay, now admin will become in front of the camera. So I work as an admin only. So here now, right now, no face is detected. So admin will become in front of the camera. So you can see admin access and then winner name is Congress because our voter press the Congress button. So in this way you can, uh, this is the practical dem demonstration of this project. Now we will see the hardware connection, programming part and how to run this project. 
Okay, now we will see the hardware connection of this project. So before start the hardware connection, I would like to tell you the connection of Arduino, buzzer, LCD, serial communication. That is four part. That I already explained in my previous video. You can see the thumbnail on the screen. Driver slip detection system by using Arduino. In that video, I have explained in detail how to connect Arduino with the buzzer, with the serial communication, with the LCD. So if you want that connection. If you want to understand that connection, please watch this video. This video link also I will provide in the description. Then you can watch that video and then try to understand how I connected that one. If you really want, if you don't want, you can skip the part. I, uh, at the end, I will give the ready-made simulation also. Okay, but my suggestion is you can develop and design this project by yourself. So please watch that video and try to connect all the hardware with yourself. Okay, in our today's project. We have all this connection already. You can see we have Arduino, we have buzzer, LCD, and serial communication monitor. That is module that we have. Okay, what extra part we have? That is the three buzzer. So how to connect this three buzzer? That I will tell you in today's video. Why I haven't covered this part? Because this part will be take almost 30 minutes. So if already uh, the detail explanation already available in my previous video, so why should I cover that part again? Because it will again consume the same time. So please watch that video. Please try to understand how to connect this part with the Arduino. Okay. So I assume that you have watched that video, and from that video you are able to come at this stage like Arduino, buzzer, display, and serial monitor. Now next part is we have to connect the three switches. So how to connect three switches? I will tell you. First you have to go go to the component mode. Then after that click on P, and then you, here you can type the button. So once you type button, you have to select this SPST push button. Then click on OK and place that button here. Very simple. Then right click on this button, rotate clockwise. Then after that, this button will be rotated clockwise. Then after that, what you have to do? You have to do. You have to go to the terminal mode. Then click on power. Then place that power here. Okay. Then after that, connect that power with this power uh, with this switch button, switch pin. Then after that, here you require one register. Here, so again go to the component mode, click on P, and type here register. So once you type register, you can select this analog register, click on OK, and place that register here. Then again right click on the register, rotate clockwise. Then you can you can connect this register with this point of switch. So just connect like this. Then after that register, next pin. This pin should be connected to ground. So go to the terminal mode, click on ground, and place that ground here. Then connect that ground with the ground. Then after that, in between this switch pin and the register pin, we we want one default pin which connected to the Arduino. So go to the terminal mode, click on default play pin, and place that default pin here in between these two points. And right click on this pin, rotate 180 degree. Then connect this pin, like connect this pin. Sorry. Connect this pin with this here. So like this, your switch circuit will be completed. Now this pin should be connected to your Arduino. So where to connect? So already we use seven, eight number pin. We have to connect with nine, ten, and eleven for three switch. So double click here and give your name GPIO nine and click on OK. Okay. So once it done, so that means this GPIO nine pin is connected with the Arduino GPIO nine pin. Okay, so in this way you can complete the switch part. Now we have to give the square box here. So go to the square box here, click on pin, and draw the square box for this switch, like this. Then after that, if you want name here, just go to the A, click on pin, and type here name B J P, and click on OK, and place double click on this name, select that arrow, double click on this B J P, and increase the size. Also, you can click on bold button. Click on OK. So in this way, your one switch part is completed. Now, one switch part is completed. Now we require two switch. So very easy. You have to just click on this arrow. Then just select this switch. This switch. Right click on this switch. Copy to clipboard. Right click, paste. Right click, paste from clipboard and place here. Same. Right click and paste from clipboard and paste. Then after that, you have to just rename this BJP with 
NCP or whatever name you have to give for the party. Double click here and then Congress and then click on OK. GPIO 9 we already use. So here we have to give GPIO 10 and then here we have to give GPIO 11. GPIO 11. Click on OK. So you can see as per this we complete the, all the circuit. I again repeat if you want to understand this four part please watch my this video you will get idea about each and, each and every connection. Okay so in this way we complete the hardware part. Now we will see the program explanation. Now we will see the program explanation part. So uh, before start this program explanation part I would like to tell you there are two programs for this project we require. So first program is Arduino code second program is python code and uh, third is simulation file so the, all this file actually you require in your laptop so from where you can download this file you can download this file from my web page so web page link given in the description okay once you download then it may be the zip file you have to unzip this and then you will find all this file okay so python code i will not explain in this video because i use the same python code that already explained uh, that already used in the electronic voting machine using the raspberry pi project so in that project i have detail explain how that python code is work so same python code i i will use for this project also arduino project also so that explanation i will not uh, not i will not give in this video because it will again consume the same time so if you want to understand the python code please watch that video that video link already given in the description so in today's video we will focus on the arduino code so if you want to open the Arduino code, just open the Arduino IDE software. So you should require the Arduino IDE software in your laptop. This Arduino IDE software in your laptop. If you don't have the Arduino IDE software in your laptop, and how to install, please watch my accident det detection video. That video link also given in the description. I, I am telling you the steps that you have to follow. Otherwise your project will not work. So this Arduino IDE software you require in the laptop. So first part is this one. So open this software. So how to open the program? I will tell you. So once you open the software, just go to the folder where you downloaded the pro, uh, program file. So go to Arduino code. You go to the inside this folder and copy this path. So once you copy this path, open the Arduino software. Then go to the file and click on open button. And this, then paste the path here. Then you will find this file AVM Arduino Pro PS. Then click and dot Ino file. You 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 can see here dot ino file it is a file extension then click on open button so once you click on open button your arduino file will be open here okay now we will see the importance of each and every line from the arduino code so first line is has include liquid crystal dot h so basically if you want a lcd in your project that should run then you require this library then you can see we have connected lcd lcd pins with the arduino 2 number pin 3 number 4 number 5 number 6 number and 7 number so if you open the hardware you can see the lcd pin you can see here lcd pin is connected with the two number three number four five six seven so whatever the lcd connection we have defined here in the same way the buzzer connection button one button two button three connection we have defined here then after that we require some variable how to use that variable that we will see later so whatever the gpi pin we have used that we have to first explain whether that pin is as an input or output. So buzzer pin work as output because Arduino will send the signal on the buzzer pin. That's why buzzer pin work as output pin. In bu button pin work as an input pin because Arduino will take the signal from this button. So that's why three button pins are work as an input. So how to define this pin work input as an output by this three line. You can see pin mode is a function, then pin number, then its use. Then we are using serial communication which transfer data from the python code to the arduino code so for the baud rate we define for that use the baud rate we define is 9600 then we are using the 16 by 2 lcd that's why we are defining here the which type of lcd we are using then after that first we print on the lcd electronic voting machine on first row and on the second row that's why this line is there okay so after that wide loop that is the main loop will be start so in that main loop we have one by byte a Byte is nothing but one variable we store the data which is coming from the python code then lcd clear then we will print on the lcd scan your face then after, after that some delay then serial dot available 
here it will check whether the data is coming from the python code or not once the data is coming from the python code the data will be stored into this that data will be read by this serial.read function and that data will be stored into a variable so if the a variable is equal to a that is a character which is received from the python code then it is a valid voter that means the data uh, the voter face is already stored into database if you can see if the a value is c c means c value sent from the python code to the argument if the a that is receive value is equal to c then we have to uh, then there is a admin login is happening and we have to print who, who is the winner which party is the winner then after that you can see if a is equal to b that is the b value sent from the python code then we are, we have to print invalid person on the lcd and we have to turn on the buzzer so how to turn on the buzzer just we have to send high and low signal on the buzzer pin with some delay okay so this is the basic structure of the code now again we will jump to the first part if the value receive a from the python code then it is showing give your vote on the lcd you can see lcd lcd print that means this message will be show on the lcd then after that they are, uh, it is waiting for the input pressed by the voter you can see digital read first button press no first second button press no third button press no so whatever the button press that data will be stored here so once the button press then one value will be stored into this status variable so let's say if the first button press then button one status value is one and two button set button two and button three status variable value will be zero so if the button one status is equal to high that means first button is pressed then party count we have to increase that is first party count we have to increase by one then after that we have to turn on the buzzer high to low then we have to print on the lcd vote taken then if the button two is pressed you can see if the button two is pressed then party to count will be increased and then again we have to turn on the buzzer and we have to print on the lcd vote taken same if the button three is pressed then party three count will be increased party three plus one and then buzzer will start and then vote taken will be print on the lcd so this is very simple code now if the if the value is c received from the python code that is the admin access admin face will be detected then that time what happened if the party one count is greater than party two and the party one count is greater than party three then winner name we have to print as a bjp same we have to print as ncp name if the party two count is greater otherwise we have to print party party three that is the congress so how to identify which party has a greater greater vote that logic is here it is very simple we have to just find out which which one has the greater vote then after that we have to print on the lcd winner name and with the winner name so winner name this is the variable which is coming from here so whoever party having the higher count that name will be displayed on the lcd and at this stage our project will be turn off or our project will be completed so i hope you understand the arduino code now we will see some basic idea of python okay now let's understand the some python code quickly so basically if you want to open the python code just go to the here python ideally you require this one python ideally then once you open the this one go to the file click on open and then again copy the path from the code where you save the code just go to that path so here i store the python code so copy this path enter here you require two python file one is capture image from the camera open that one again go to the file from here open and select again copy paste that path and select this face recognition code so two two python code we require okay so let's understand quickly this one python code so basically i receive many comment from the uh, from this video like this python code capture image from camera is not working there uh, because uh, their cv2 package is little bit upgraded so i change with that new updated package so we can see this line is change here import cv2 as cv2 we require one cv2 variable to access cv2 function and camera port is one because i am using the usb logic camera if you are using the uh, laptop camera you can give here zero value then cv video capture and then after that you can see while one inside while one we first ask the person name okay so if you are using the latitude camera oh sorry 
if you are using the usb camera then you can here give one if you are using the uh, if you are using the laptop camera then you can give here zero then we are opening the camera port by using this line then first we are asking the person name so which person database you want to store that name you have to provide then after that the camera will capture the image and then you will uh, see that person image then if you want a uh, new person name new uh, uh, like another person database if you want to create then again this code will ask the second person name then you can give and capture the image i will show you quickly how to capture the image so just click on this run and run model so once it run it will take some time two minutes time or one minute time to open the camera so wait for some second okay now here it is asking the person name so i will give shubham name here do not give any space uh, here just type the shubham okay once you type the uh, shubham name once you type the shubham name press enter then below you can see this window will be open camera window now you can adjust the camera once you adjust the camera your face will be recognized very clearly you can see now my face is very clear now what you have to do you, you have to just click on this shubham frame and press q button from your keyboard so just press q button so once you press q button you can see shubham frame is freeze now now you have to go to your folder here where you store the file you can see shubham name the my face new you can you can see new image new image is stored here with the shubham name so like this now let's say if you want to take the another person uh, you can see here it is asking enter person name again so you can use sail uh, then press again enter so once you press enter go to the bottom sail window will be open shubham uh, window will be freeze now you can see this is a freeze now you can uh, remove this and sail window will be open then again here you can just focus capture the face of second person and click on q button then again sail image is freeze that means sail image store then go to the folder you can see here check whether your image store or not with shubham and sail that, that means two faces are stored into database so like this you can store as many as database in in one shot this some short update uh, this update is not taken in the old python code now this is the latest update so you can use this latest uh, 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 program uh, to capture the database or to create the database okay now uh, open the second program face recognition code so whatever the database you have taken you can see shubham is a new database i have taken so just update inside the code the second code uh, here you can see rahul pranali is my old database so new database you can update here with the shubham whatever the name database name and here also you can update with your name also here so same image dot png image should be available inside your folder this folder otherwise your code will give error so let's say shubham is the new image then here i can change with the shubham so i am showing you how to create the new database the admin name who is your admin that name should be present here so raul is my admin so that i will give name my here so that's it only and other code i have already explained in my previous video uh, uh this face recognition uh, sorry later on the voting machine with raspberry pi video so please watch that video from that video try to understand below logic okay now we will see how to run this project please flow, focus on this step first you require vsp software in your laptop if you don't have this vsp software please watch my this video face mask rejection video in that video you can uh, in that video you will find one link from that link you can download this vsp software and try to install this software so first open this software click on device click on create then click on connector just click on next button here select com1 click on finish then after that select this connector click on this green button your initialization should be okay then minimize this first step now second step is you have to open the arduino software then after open the arduino software click on this verify button so once you verify your hex file will be generated below so wait for some second okay once the compilation done your uh, your hex file will be generated below you can see uh, at this path at the end here you will find 
this file path so copy this path from your folder copy this path you can see copy this file path open the protease software so how to open this ready made file i will i will show you the step just give me one minute just open the protease software okay once you open the protease software click on open button then uh, whatever a file path where you store your folder just go to that folder so this is my folder path and here is the protease file you can see protease project you have to click on open button then after that double click on this arduino and select this folder so after that select this folder you already know we copied this x file path okay so paste that path here but here here one is forward slash you have to change to the backslash then here also you have to remove one backslash this is basically a file path where that x file is stored so remove one backslash from here here also and here also and here also then click on open click on okay now this is the one step now second step is you have to open this face recognition code just go to the run and uh, before that uh, open the protest software and just click on this run button okay once you run you can see electronic voting machine project started so scan your face now it is asking for the scan your face so just go to the python code face recognition code here you have to give this com1 we already created com1 then go to the run and run model so wait for 2 to 3 a minute it will open the camera and at the bottom you will find your face and then it will start sending the data from one python code to arduino so wait for some second okay now you can see my face is detected and here it is showing rahul but here it is showing admin access so once you show admin access you can see winner name it is showing congress that means its project is working fine so in this way you can uh, you can open the project you can, you can run the project so i hope you understand the complete flow and how to run the project i hope you understand the code also if you like the content please click on like button please subscribe this channel and please support me thanks for watching this video